Hello everybody, my name is Ian Lee and I'm an old time western swing and jazz musician based out of Central Texas. Hope you're doing well today and welcome to Let's Practice Together episode number three. In the first two episodes of Let's Practice Together, we worked on an A major scale and a D major scale. Now my intention for this video is to address fiddle players, but there are some theoretical concepts that might suit other musicians, but the ideas are working primarily with this funny little four string box. It can get so tricky sometimes. So as I said just a moment ago, the first two videos were A major and uh, D major. In this episode, we're going to be doing G major. So just a one octave G major scale. If you've already watched the first two episodes or you're just familiar with some of these concepts, um, we'll be using the exact same finger pattern and the exact same shape as we did for A and D major. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's go back to D major just for a moment. If I pluck the open D string, I put my first finger where it would typically go, so it's not a low one, it's just a one that we have right there. And then we put some space between the first and the second finger. That note is an F sharp. And I put my third finger right next to my second. And I play open A, same pattern. One, two, three, close together. Now that's some of my own language. So you, know, you can always think about these things however makes sense for you, and whatever feels comfortable for your own mind and your own process. Uh, there's not a, a right or wrong, I'm just trying to showcase the fact that the violin has these, these nice shapes that we can rely on. And you don't necessarily have to always learn uh, this whole new set of information every time you come to a new scale. You can kind of recycle things that you already have under your fingers. Okay, and you'll, this will help you notice things inside tunes and improvisation and all kinds of stuff. It'll help you start to see patterns. And music is full of patterns and shapes. That's one, one of the great things about it. So, we're gonna play through G major here shortly. And I'll be using that same exact shape and pattern just on the G and the D strings. Now, as I've said before, I really like my own students to know the key signature that they're playing in. So for example, G major is one sharp and it's F sharp. And the scale is spelled G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Knowing that kind of information can help you make decisions, uh, again, learning tunes, figuring out a riff, figuring out a phrase, figuring out what's going on inside of a song. When you have these things available to you, not just in your ears, but in your fingers and as concepts, it can really help you stabilize where you are and where you're trying to go. And it can take, you know, some of the the guesswork out of it and all the intense mystery that can surround music as you begin to understand these things and relate them to a sound, which is one of the most important facets of this. So anyways, let's, let's play through G major. I'm gonna play with a shuffle bow. I'm just gonna play it one time through and always feel free to listen or play along as much as you need. And you can um, uh, just rewind the video as you see fit. I will put little uh, chapters in this so you can always just click back to the chapter where I start playing, okay? So I'll play with a shuffle bow uh, on each note. So it'll sound like this. Okay, I'll go all the way up and then I'll come all the way back down. So. G major, here we go. Ready, go. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps.